Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. I cannot foresee this Labour government lasting long. Uh, we have a man called Ed Miliband. He's very famous for not, a not eating a bacon sandwich like a human being. Although, why he's eating a bacon sandwich is yet to be worked out. Um, but he has this schizophrenic belief that two opposing things, two diametrically opposing things can exist at the same time. He's announced Project Willow. Project Willow is this scheme to pump millions and millions and billions of pounds into Grangemouth, the big oil refinery, and keep that going. And at the same time, he wants to close down the oil industry. Does he not see the connection? Has he got a little problem in his tiny, tiny socialist mind? Does he not understand that one begats the other? You can't have an oil... Can't have an oil refinery if you've got no oil. But hey, I'm De I'm Ed Miliband and I'm a moron. Uh, oh, bacon sandwiches. Uh, what a prick, basically. What a prick. So he wants to spend millions keeping Grange Mouth open, although he wants to get rid of all the oil. However, of course he can't. He said that thing about the oil the other day. It's already bounced back. They, they've, they've collapsed that one. The view turned on that immediately at the threat of the many, many billion pound multi-billion pound lawsuits that would have come in so they've said no you know let's let's not do that one ed and so ed's had to sort of turn around and deny that he ever said it even though he's caught on tape saying it um anyway so they've had to reverse that and even even this mad mad labor government could not stomach losing a quarter of a million jobs minimum because that's only the that's there you think about the greater economy bars clubs restaurants car dealerships that sort of thing all gone. So even they couldn't stomach that. A major importer of money to this country by selling it. And they're going to do it because, oh, look, it's oil's bad. Cars, in it? The oil that comes out of the North Sea isn't used for fuel. I've said this before. It's not light sweet. It's, it's very heavy, clungy oil. It's great for plastics, agriculture, lubricants, medicine, that sort of stuff. All the stuff you need, you know, glasses, computers. The trouble with the Labour Party is they keep they keep hiring idiots and giving them positions of power. And these idiots seem to think, oh, oil is petrol. No, it isn't. Petrol is actually a waste product. They had to invent the petrol engine in order to burn the petrol off. They had no other use for it and still don't. And nobody knows what they're going to do with the petrol. That's a different argument. But this Labour Party can't last, can it? It can't. You keep hiring all these failures from yesterday. You keep along with their own baggage of failure from the past. Please, God, can we have new failures? Can we have new people come in and fail freshly so we can laugh at them as well? The great thing about Starmer, of course, is he isn't going to be there long. Thank heavens, he'll be gone soon. Although Anal Arranger will take over and that'll be the final end of it. We'll get an election shortly after that because the woman can't read and write, you know, completely illiterate. You can buy really shitty shell suits. I saw that the other day, that teal shell suit. <laughs> Mad for it, aye. Little cigarette nandai, you know, standing on a corner of a street. Suck you off a sixpence, sir. Anyway, enough. Thanks very much. Bye.